Hi, it's Friday, March 16th, day eight of the LA lockdown. We hope that you are surviving and that you're doing well during this COVID crisis. I wanna encourage everybody today that social distancing is different than physical distancing. And we wanna encourage you to stay yeah. physically distant with non-family members of six feet, but, but to stay close socially. So I really don't like that phrase, social distancing, because as a church, we wanna stay vitally right. connected to each other right. during this time. So even though we're apart in, in distance, yet we can be close and maybe even now get closer in terms of relationally and socially. That's right. And in fact, in Romans 1, Paul is writing to the churches and he is longing to see them. And he's writing and saying that, I miss you. I long to see you. I'm praying for you constantly. And we want you to know that that's the way Dave and I feel. Every day we're praying for you. We long to see you. We actually really miss you. But we know during this crisis, this is the right thing we need to do. But we want to thank you for continuing to yeah. be on our live stream on yes. Wednesday and also on Sunday and staying connected to us, staying connected to our church, staying connected to one another. We want to thank yeah. you for that. Yeah. Hey, we want to let you know a couple of things that are happening this Sunday. We are going to be completing our uh, series on faith, hope, and love. And God wants us to have faith over fear, hope over helplessness, and love over self-preservation. We know that you're going to be encouraged and inspired mm -hmm. as we share with you some wonderful reports of what God is doing to inspire church members and Christians all around the United right. States and around the world with doing loving actions uh, in the middle of all the crisis, in the middle of all the pandemonium and all the uh, self-preservation Christians that are being salt and light. Also, I want to let you know about our next series started in April. We have a series uh, called The Resurrection Effect. We've been planning this now for about three months. Uh, too many of us view the resurrection of Jesus as little more than a nice, happy conclusion to the gospel story. But the truth is, is that the resurrection of Jesus doesn't wrap right. up the story. It simply begins the story, and it gives our story of our lives great meaning. All right, and also we have very exciting news. We're planning a Zoom webinar for all the parents. <laughs> That's going to be coming up soon. We want to help you maximize your family time during this uh, COVID crisis. And so be or stay tuned to that because it's coming and we're yeah. excited to share that with you. Yeah, we want to help you to not go stir crazy during this time because yeah. you're staying at home. So we um, miss you all. We're we praying for you every you. day. We love you. And we look forward to seeing you in just a few days on Sunday. Right. God, God bless. bless.